Good morning. It is Tuesday, November 7th, and I am doing 60 Seconds to Serenity with me, Gregory Hammond. And I am on the, I'm in the space of the, the little TV set that we have here, recording set at the Guitar Castle. And uh, so I'm waiting for the backdrop to get rid of these squares. Eventually, they'll have that all worked out. And working with the lighting here, you can see I, we have, uh, I have a, that is a uh, frangipani. That's a frangipani tree, which uh, I just, I didn't know um, where this, I didn't know that this uh, Peace, Love, and Awakening Code Radio, I, I've, I've done some shows on Awakening Code Radio, some podcasts, broadcasts. And uh, I just saw this little thing to add on there, but it's interesting because that green kind of goes with the um, the backdrop there. Um, but anyway, 60 seconds to serenity, and each morning I hop on here and talking about ways that you have access to, uh, if you practice creating new habits, you can have your 60 seconds to serenity tools where you use the power of your own mind and the power of creating your habits to be able to shift your day from wherever if you have a, play, a part of your day where you, you experience something that you want to not experience uh, an uncomfortable feeling um, anger other emotions things that uh, that trigger that for you how to control that um, the best the best thing that you can do is control the way that your mind thinks and control your habits, but it takes practice. It's like anything, uh, as a music teacher, as a guitar teacher here in Washington, D.C., I have spent a lot of time teaching people how to uh, create the habit of practice, which is not an easy thing to do. Most of my students are adults, and so the thing about that is that it's hard to add in a new habit. And uh, the 60 Seconds to Serenity is about creating the habit for your mental thinking. Um, and so we've talked about the breathing, that you can control your breathing, you're always breathing, right? Um, so all, it, all uh, we're adding in is the control of the breathing to make it very deep and specific where as you do it, you think about it as the, the beach tide coming in, the wave on the beach and the sandy beach down in the islands where it's nice and warm and that wave comes way in and then it goes all the way back out and you want your breathing to be that trigger that's the first thing and then you want to have affirmations and um, you can use pictures you can use music you can use the memory of something that was absolutely the most joyous time and you want to zero in on that and make that what you what is your go-to every time that uh, for example um, let's say um, you are going to commute to work and all of a sudden there's more people or traffic or something that delays you and, and you feel um, a lot of emotion from that, either um, anger or, or fear that you're going to be late or something like that and, and you want to shift that. Uh, and the amazing thing is that uh, having control, using the control that you have to shift yourself into a peaceful vibration and a very peaceful way of thinking, uh, a calm way of thinking, um, shifts a lot of other things, not just that moment, right? And we're using this as a very powerful tool to shift all the other things out there. And this ties into the concentric rings as a... Um, Wilderness Survival teacher back, and I, I say this because it's true, back before the turn of the century. In the late 1900s, I was learning Wilderness Survival and then became a teacher, teaching Wilderness Survival. And the best, the big, biggest tool that you have there, I mean, I, you, you learn about uh, edible plants and how to build a shelter, uh, the, the sacred order of uh, shelter, fire, or water, and food, and why it's in that order. But the most important thing that you can have is a good attitude. 
and your mental t control of the, the way that you're thinking. So um, one of those things that we learned how to read in nature and to read from ourselves is the concentric ring. And that, for a good example of that is if you think about a still a body of water, like a pond, where the, the water is very still and calm, and then you throw a stone into it, and as that hits, it makes a splash, but you see those rings go out. Those rings that go out eventually hit the shore, and they come back, and there's constant uh, motion and movement that happens. Those are concentric rings. That happens from your the way that you're feeling when you experience something. So you experience a lot of joy. You notice that lots more of that generally happens. You can track this kind of stuff. And uh, so the idea is that you're, um, you're in control of your mind and your thinking. And if you use the right tools and you cre create the right habits, um, then you have control over all of your day. So I'm thinking about the, this next part. So the, um, adding in your water, right? every day all day keep hydrated it's one of the most powerful things that you can do on a physical tool but um, using your trigger your breathing the music the memory of something maybe a picture and an affirmation my affirmation was uh, that I would said the other day was everywhere I go and everything I do makes the world a better place for me and for you and um, I'd love to hear if you have a positive affirmation that, that you say and you want to share it in the comments down there. That would be fantastic. I'd love to see that. Um, I always uh, use this, have this little uh, happy face. Um, it's one of those moldable wire things that you can sit down somewhere, right? And uh, it's nice to have that this kind of something or other. For um, for your desk, my sister Jennifer brought that over to me one day, uh, and left it. So I I appreciate that I can make it sit all kinds of places and hang on, and uh, and it helps remember the remember the power of the smiling. That's uh, something that um, is right there, free. It's just like the breathing, you know. So as you're breathing, one of the things that I um, teach when I'm teaching people about uh, doing vocal training is as they're breathing if they smile you actually get you can bring in more air and so you add that to all of the things that we've talked about where big breath in but a lot of times um, when you're doing these breaths you're gonna want to bring the air in through your nose right and so your exhale Can come through on a smile. Uh, yesterday we started with the non-dominant handwriting and that was where we used a pen or a pencil and I recommend a pen. You know, grab yourself a notebook and start to write down some things. Some of the stuff that I did for, through the Wilderness Survival was tr uh, journaling. We did journaling and the, the Wilderness Survival wasn't like just go out and survive. It wasn't um, with that full intention of, of just, uh, you know, battling elements out there. It was about living in a very peaceful Zen way, understanding the environment so that you thrived when you were out there. But the, a lot of us were training so that we could go out and um, find lost uh, campers, hikers, hunters, you know, people that go out there into the wilderness and then all of a sudden get disoriented. And um, I was talking about how the non-dominant, your non-dominant side swings further. That that foot usually swings out just a little bit further, and so people go around in a circle, and it's it's uh, it's very helpful for trackers to go up and find find somebody because usually the person's gone around in a circle. The only problem is that when a person discovers they've come back to the same place they were before, if they're they're unsure of why that has happened, and that's usually the case, they panic. They start to have fear sets in, like, oh, I'm just going to go around in another circle and I'm stuck here. 
Um, and we always say, if you're, if you're lost, the best thing to do is stop moving. Sit down and prepare. Um, just think, ah, oh, this is a, it's the attitude that you have that will save you there. It's just think, this is a, uh, this is okay. People will find me. I need to sit down and stop moving, conserve energy, and keep the right attitude. Um, I didn't reverse the camera today because uh, this little peace loving and awakening code thing would uh, would be reversed. So I'll read this to you, even though it's backwards, right? Or it might be backwards. It says Tom Brown's Field Guide to Wild Ed Wild Edible Plants, Medicinal Plants, right? Um, and that's Tom. He's uh, the teacher that I studied with for a long time. Uh, he's really good, very knowledgeable, and uh, I'm extremely grateful for the education that I received uh, through his books and also through uh, learning in person over uh, many, many week-long courses and, uh, and also time in between. Um, but uh, a cool thing to do is to learn about wild edible plants and um, there's some really good stories in here uh, but part of what he's uh, what he's sharing is about um, how to identify those plants uh, so it's an awareness building tool right um, and learning some wild edibles is not like you have to go out into the wilderness they're actually all over in in your uh neighborhood so uh just even in the, in the lawn there are stuff that is wild edible uh remember your gratitude i got the the blank notebook that i show you each time oh and i i got sidetracked there pardon me but i was talking about the um non-dominant hand writing that we started we were talking about not in tracking non-dominant is a, a side that isn't as strong and so uh, the dominant side supports the body and the non-dominant side goes a little further and that's why people walk in a circle or wander and end up being feel like they're wandering end up in a circle back to where they started which is where the the, the fear can set in because they don't know why that happened so a very powerful exercise is to use your non-dominant hand to write them yesterday well, we, we on uh, 60 seconds to serenity here. We made uh, made the exercise start of writing one time your name. It's something you write all the time. Write that with uh, the non with your dominant hand, and then underneath it, at least one time, write with your non dominant hand, and give yourself uh, the extra five minutes to do that. And in your day, right, start off beginning of the day it, it will feel very uncomfortable there's a very um, very powerful part of your mind that you're going to activate and um, so I recommend that you do that and if you if you did uh, did that yesterday or you're starting today um, what I'm going to suggest is that if you can do it with your non-dominant hand then do it if not um, you can add in the date, but I would like you to start uh, using this as a bit of a journal. When what you want to do is write down the date, the time that it is. Now, it might be, you know, three thirty in the morning where you are. It might be um, six p.m. where you are. It might be six fifteen a.m. or something like that. Write down the time when you're doing this exercise, um, because you might find that you end up doing it at different times in the day. So write down the date the day, the date, the time, and then we want to add uh, that you're writing your name, right? You're writing your name, non-dominant hand, and you can do that a couple of times. On some days you might find that you write it three times. On other days you might write it just once. Other times it might be ten times. I encourage you to pick a number um, over five, more than five, and write it out that many times. Um, so, good morning, I see lots of people are hopping on here, and uh, this is the 60 Seconds to Serenity with me, Greg Hammond. I'm talking about uh, your mindset and using the power of your attitude to get through anything. Um, I have been through uh, tons, anybody who's known me for a while knows that I, I struggled for the first 
uh, three and a half decades of my life. I was a, I was having good times um, and adventures, but I was struggling because I didn't understand how to control my mind, and so my I reacted to tons of situations and and made them worse than they needed to be, and I also made some uh, some choices that weren't good for my health and for my men mental state and. Um, and the power of thought and the power of understanding and getting an education from all these amazing teachers over uh, the last couple of decades as I started to apply this stuff. I was learning stuff for a long time, but I was just sort of just collecting information. I started to apply it, and my life has totally shifted and it's been amazing. And so I'm sharing this stuff um, just for free, hopping on here to help you start your day off uh, because I know how powerful uh, it can be, and all you have to do is uh, show up and. Uh, take some notes and and uh, your life will start to change and shift and you can get through any any situation whether it's small or big um, so if you haven't seen um, the other any of these other uh, episodes then hop on and check it out uh, every morning between 6 a.m. 7 a.m. on the East Coast I hop on here and I do these 60 seconds of serenities with Greg Hammond videos also, on Saturday, I'm doing free guitar lessons, and there's more details on that um, over at the DC Guitar Lessons. I'm going to do that through the end of this year, preparing people so that they can come right into 2018, uh, the new year, with um, with a skill of being able to play. Um, and there's, if you want to go fast, there's more, there's videos from last year when I did the free videos. My life is amazing and I'm extremely grateful for how good it is. So my ability to give back like this, either these morning videos, if it's the mindset that you want to work on, or if it's guitar that you want to work on, then um, please accept my gift of, uh, of this free education and, um, and honor it by letting other people know, sharing it with other people. The idea is that we improve ourselves, that we get better, we share those, uh, the gifts, and we help other people's lives get better. It's up to us as a community to be the change that we want to see, change in our improving our own lives and our, our ability to think uh, in a very high vibration, positive, and, and stay there. And if we continue to do that, we will bring the change that we want to see. And there's, there's plenty of stuff that a lot of people want to change out there. Uh, and I will hop on at some point and I'll do longer blogs uh, discussing specifics uh, of events in the news that we um, how we can address those but that's all I got time for this morning um, remember stay hydrated the other thing that um, I mention all the time that um, is the gratitude list and um, and I was showing you that I've got the notebook uh, you can make your own notebook it's pretty simple obviously keep smiling have a have a fantastic day. Get your power anthem, the song that you love that charges you up. Get that going first thing in the morning. Um, and I will see you. I'll see you tomorrow morning if I don't. If I haven't. Uh, if I didn't get on be sometime today to do my other blog. Have a fantastic day. I love you guys. Peace, love, and music.